had breakfast today? Maybe lunch? Okay, awesome. But let's say you woke up this morning and you didn't want to eat. Or maybe you were hungry, but you, you didn't let yourself eat. Anorexia is often thought of by society as a choice, but it is a severe mental illness that has drastic effects on the brain and the body. Education about the real effects is a better way to destigmatize the population. I witnessed a very close family member battle through this life-altering mental illness, and through doctor appointments, therapy appointments, I gained a completely different perspective on eating disorders. First, I will explain how society can impact one with anorexia. Second, I will discuss the effects malnutrition has on the brain and the body. And finally, I will discuss how we can better educate society. Now that I have brought to your attention the severity of the topic, I will begin by explaining society's view on anorexia and the truth regarding the mental illness. Society defines anorexia as a choice, when it's actually a severe mental illness. Subconsciously, the media within our society accepts more willingly model-like features. Margaret R. Miles, professor at Berkeley who studies the body and beauty September through May in 2000 in her article Religion and Food, the Case of Eating Disorders, argues women who starve themselves, women starve themselves in order to look like the model women they see in the media. Society views anorexia as a choice when in reality it is a severe mental illness. Catherine Polly, a recovering anorexic, argues in her informative TED Talk video entitled After Anorexia, Life's Too Short to, Count Your, to Weigh Your Cornflakes on February 2017, reiterates that it's not a choice and states no anorexic truly wants to starve their body, yet their brain is so mentally ill, they do not have another choice. Now that we've discussed the impact society can have on one with anorexia, I will further explain the drastic effects malnutrition has on the brain and the body. When the body is working off a starved brain, the body will shut down hormo hormonal growth, hair growth, fingernail growth, shutting down these hormonal parts of the brain attempting to conserve energy. According to JAMA Pediatrics, June 2003, authors state protein starvation leads to the cessation of hair growth and zinc and iron deficiency can also lead to thin hair. Once the body loses all the fat it can lose, it will begin to absorb nutrients from other areas of the body, such as bones, muscles, organs, the heart, and even the brain. As stated in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, May 26, 2011, Several authors argue when the brain is malnourished, the brain conserves energy by dismissing hormone levels such as GH and IGF-1. IGF-1 is known to build muscle mass, therefore when the hormone is dismissed by the brain, the brain will begin to chip away at bone density to receive nutrients. In an anorexic brain, the hunger signals sent from the gut don't register in the brain. Therefore, they are not hungry when truthfully their body is starving. Laura Hill, the past president and CEO of the Center of Balanced Living, describes an anorexic brain in her TED Talk video entitled Eating Disorders from the Inside Out on October 31, 2012. Hill describes that in an anorexic brain, the hunger signals do not register in the insula part of the brain, which is the part of the brain that indicates hunger, and the signals pass right on by. Therefore, there is no system to tell the body they are hungry. Anorexia is not a choice, but a severe mental illness. It's crucial society gets educated about this illness to understand that it's nothing to be ashamed of. The US National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health states on April 28, 2007, the onset age of anorexia is 15. Therefore, if we begin to educate society members the truth regarding anorexia, individuals will seek help instead of being ashamed of this mental illness. Anorexia is often thought of by society as a choice, when in reality, it is a life-altering mental illness that has drastic effects on the brain and the body. Education about the real effects of this mental illness is a better way to educate society. First, I explained how society can impact one with anorexia. Second, I discussed the effects malnutrition can have on the brain and the body. And third, I discussed how we can better educate society. Anorexia is a constant battle many individuals in our society deal with daily. When food is the source of our daily energy, yet one is so mentally ill they are unable to eat, they are crying for help. And we, as society members, need to help them. Thank you.